I want to introduce you to our new marking gauges. This is, a, I'm a self-confessed wood hoarder. I don't throw anything out of it. Here's my collection. Uh, there's a piece of Australian lace wood. There's some African black wood. There's some uh, fiddle, uh, fiddleback maple. There's some nice walnut. Lots of pieces of bird's eye. There's some Brazilian tulip wood. There's a piece of copabolo. More walnut. There's some torrified bird's eye. You may be wondering why would I keep such small pieces. Oh, here's some uh, here's some snake wood. Would never throw that out. Here's some check to coke. Uh, here's some zircote. What else have we got in here? Uh, here's some uh, there's some kaboon ebony. All kinds of stuff. So what do I do with that? With pieces that size, we make marking gauges, really pretty ones. Let me show you a few of them. Now I'll start over here. Here's a piece of cocobolo. Now you'll notice that we also put uh, do an inlay on the uh, on the thumb screw. So I'm gonna show you how we do that as well. This is a piece of, as I mentioned, cocobolo. This is a piece of uh, fiddleback catalpa that comes from the Midwestern United States. Gorgeous stuff when you can get figure in it like that. Here is a piece of gaboon ebony. This one is bird's eye. We actually managed to get a bird's eye in the button. There's a piece of moon ebony, spelled M-U-N. There's this is. Stuff is drop dead gorgeous. This is snake wood. Absolutely fantastic wood. Here's some zebra wood, some uh, bacote. Here's a piece of uh, maple burl. Here's a purple heart. Lace wood. Uh, here's what we do. I take. I, I can get. I can use a piece as small as an inch and three sixteenths by one inch square. We have to keep it one inch square, even though we turn it down to less than that. Otherwise, when we drill that hole, it'll break. There's a piece of ebony, there's a piece of uh, cocobolo. I can't remember the name of that, some bird's eye. So we take that, we fasten that in, to glue that into the brass, and I go over and I turn that. I do them all by hand, literally by with a handheld uh, chisel. Finish off the body. Um, there's our stainless steel rod. We have that drilled on center and uh, use the screw. And then there's our cutter that we have custom made. Which well, These are new ones, so they have a very acute angle on there. So they get they really cut nicely, particularly in the hard woods. Once we put that on there, we sharpen that up so that that is razor sharp when it comes to you. So there's our, our thumb screw. I hollow the center out. And then using the little wee tiny scraps we have left over, we, we uh, I cut a bunch of half inch plugs. And then we'll go ahead and sometimes I have to cut it several times to get that to fit. But we get that down in there, glue it in place, finish it off, and then you end up with something that looks like that. So of course we charge more for these, mainly because I don't like parting with them. But if you find one on there that you like, grab it because they go up numbered. And once that one is sold, it's gone. These are A lot of these are one-offs. We don't have a whole lot of that snake wood. And uh, some of them are a little more common than others, but some of them, particularly that partic individual piece of wood, is just hard to come by. Anyway, these uh, these marking gauges are the same as my standard marking gauge. It's just a whole lot prettier because of the wood. Hope you like them.